twenty, and it's time for what's trending. A man who discovered a very rare coin could see a big payday. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Right? The amateur metal detectorist found what he thought to be one of the England's first gold coins. The Henry III gold penny was unearthed in a farmland in Devon and was minted in about 1257. It's one of the only eight such coins known to exist and many of which are in museums. The man who found the coin wants to remain anonymous and he didn't realize how valuable Valuable it was until he posted the photograph of the penny on Facebook. It was spotted by an expert who was in disbelief at the find and the pre-sale estimate by British auctioneer Spink and Son in London is around 400,000 pounds or $546,000. Now that is pretty <laughs> nifty to find a coin that old and in such good condition and to only have eight in the world like that is pretty awesome that is impressive to say the least i mean it's not it's, it's kind of hard to sometimes find a uh, historical documents like that anymore and it's cool to see that penny there i mean it's uh that's how old it is and uh, just judging from the pictures it looks like it's in pretty decent condition too and it was found on farmland so that's pretty cool i wonder if he's like a, a metal detectorist that does it all the time or it was just like oh i'm just gonna go out for like a walk and just like find it because you know how like they advertise metal detectors are like you can lose weight by doing metal detecting and stuff <laughs> but like i've always wanted one so i'm kind of a little jealous yeah that is really cool you never know what you're going to find in the ground i mean it could be as simple as a water pipe or it could be something as <laughs> water pipe well, i mean well or whatever that whatever something metal something metal excuse or me I'm, I'm, or something. I'm just trying to come up with something that yeah. that you know it could pick up there but yeah or something as expensive or valuable as uh, that penny right there and uh I'm almost wondering the person that did it probably doesn't do it very often because, I mean, if he wants to remain anonymous, that could also probably be like, hey, don't want people going after me and everything. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely very interesting. They're a good find, though, and a lot richer now because of it. Yeah. But, but meanwhile, though, we're going to take, take, take things out of this world. You ready? Oh, I like that. Yeah, NASA is crediting so-called citizen scientists who they say helped with a huge discovery in space. This is an illustration of a new planet discovered when the agency says the scientists collaborated with professional astronomers and NASA says the planet is about the same size as Jupiter, but with about three times the mass. It sits about 379 light years from Earth and is currently orbiting a star with the same mass as the sun. That sounds interesting. And the scientists were able to help NASA pin down the planet's size and mass and track it. They did this through the online volunteer projects that allow anyone to look through NASA telescope data to, for signs of planets beyond our solar system. And that is always fun. There's always so much stuff out there, whether it's you're just laying down on a frozen lake or, uh, or somewhere on the ground. I mean, you get a little Northwoods plug there. To look at the sky and to see the moon or all the stars out there, which you think about those stars, those are kind of like a sun for us, but so many like light years away, though. It's kind of crazy to just grasp that, isn't it? Yeah, especially when it said it was three times more dense. I'm like, how is that possible? That's really cool, though, to like understand that like different planets have, I know, different densities of gases, different atmospheres mm -hmm. and everything like that. So that's cool to maybe they could explore it more and see what else it has that maybe other planets, maybe it's livable, maybe yeah. not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about livable. I'm going to just take a, a shot in the dark here because and say no. I, I mean, we don't know. I mean, it just got discovered. So it's hard to say, but it's about the size of Jupiter. But when you mention density, you're measuring thickness there. So that can also mean a lot of other issues, too. Could we have thick atmosphere that could cause things like Venus where you can't live there because you get crushed right away? Or See, you know a lot more about planets than I do, so clearly you're, <laughs> you're more of an expert. Right. Science is fun. I'm not an astronomist, but uh, I know meteorology, I mean, it makes us interested in science. <laughs> and we got another space story coming up. A famous auction house thinks this rare black diamond is from out of this world, literally. Monday, Sotheby's unveiled this fancy black diamond called the Enigma as part Part of its luxury sales series. The gem's origin is a mystery, but officials believe it was either created after a meteorolic how do you say that? Meteor me meteoric. I'm meteoric. Gonna, there meteoric, we go. I'm guessing. <laughs> Day two of not being able to pronounce. In fact, from another diamond bearing asteroid that collided with Earth. The diamond is 555 and a half carats and was listed as the world's largest cut diamond in the 2006 Guinness Book of World Records. Bidding starts next month. That is, I've never seen anything. I've seen the Hope Diamond when I went to D.C., which is pretty large, but I've never seen anything quite that. 
that size. That, that is incredible. That is very impressive, though, and it's very interesting, and especially that one word, meteoric. I don't think I've heard that word yeah. this yet. So. I know meteor. I can say yeah. that. Yeah, when you say meteor. Say meteor. Meteoric? Me meteor. Yeah. Yep. But mete meteoric is kind of a tricky word to say, but yeah. still just to look, see that out there, and it's out of this world. I mean, it's just fascinating to see uh, what can enter our atmosphere and survive too because obviously everything gets burnt up in the atmosphere so you took the words right out of my mouth yeah, right. <laughs> i guess i'm just good at that this morning yeah you are <laughs>